Welcome to another Simple Dad Android tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to get Apple's Dynamic Island, which you see on iPhone 14 Pro or the Pro Max for your Android phone. So before moving on to the video, I would appreciate if you can let me know if this video is helpful or not. You can do this by hitting the thumbs up button or the thumbs down button. So, so if you're impressed by iPhone 14's Dynamic Island, then you like this feature, plus it is free. Dynamic Island is a spot around the front top of the phone where your front camera is. Basically, your notification will appear on this area, which makes it look very cool. I believe so far only Samsung Galaxy phones, Xiaomi and the Realme phones can have this feature as they have a camera cut out on screen. So let me show you how to get this feature. First, go in your Play Store and you need to search for Dynamic Spot. Go ahead and install it. Once that is installed, go ahead and open the app. Then tap on next. Now there are some instructions which you need to follow before activating the dynamic island. So first you need to select what apps can activate the pop-up. So tap on this. From here, select all the apps which you want to activate the pop-up. I'll tap on all, press back. Next, you want to allow dynamic spot to access notifications. So tap on that and then tap on dynamic spot and make sure notifications allowed. Tap on allow. Now the last thing on screen is to draw on screen. So you need to allow dynamic spot to float on your screen. So tap on that. Tap on next and here tap on installed apps, then tap on dynamic spot and make sure to enable this. Tap on allow. And as you can see, this app has no internet access, no data is collected or shared, so it's completely safe. Go ahead and press done. Now you'll come to this screen. Here you can basically activate dynamic spot by pressing the play button here, the top right. And there you go, you have your dynamic spot. You've got your notifications, which is enabled. You've got pop-up settings where you can basically configure the size, position and the behavior of that island. There are some free stuff which you can do, while there are some paid stuff which you cannot do it because it's grayed out. If you wanna buy the app, you can basically just tap on Pro and there you go, it's for £3.59. So now let's test out Dynamic Island. So I'll press the home button here. And there you go, you can see the Dynamic Island here. Let me just send a notification to that phone. And there you go, you can see a notification that appears there. And that is how to get Dynamic Island on your Android phone, just like the one you see on the iPhone 14 Pro or the Pro Max. So if this video is helpful, then please subscribe to see more videos like this. If you have any other questions, then please do let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.